Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a fabulous episode with us here in this channel. So today is going to be a very beautiful day. Why? Because I brought you guys to the kitchen and we'll be creating a magic here in this kitchen. So today we'll be preparing okra soup. And I'll be showing you my own style of preparing okra soup. Please like this video, drop your comments in the comment section, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done so, and God bless you. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video where I'll be showing you some of the ingredients I'll be using and also the ways in which I prepare this beautiful soup. So these are my ingredients I'll be using to prepare my okra soup in my own way so this is my okra very fresh my ugu leaves very fresh my dry pepper my fresh pepper my stocked fish my dry fish my cord that's the maggi over there the meat i'll be using that's the tall meat my salt my onions and my crayfish last but not the least very very important my red oil so these are the ingredients I'll be using to make this beautiful okra soup. Stay with me. Do not leave me because we're about to start. So up next, I'll be washing this. Then I'll be washing this here with hot water. I'll be grating this and I'll be slicing this. And I'll also be grinding this and cutting this. So let's get right into the business of today. So yeah, this is me pouring hot water into my stocked fish and my dry fish. I'm using hot water to wash it in order for me to wash off the sand from the dry fish and to also soften the stock fish. Up next, I'll be washing my meat. And for the purpose of this soup preparation, I'll be using towel meat. So I have already washed this towel meat twice before this video. And here I am again still washing it in order to wash it properly and to avoid sand while eating Yes, yeah, so I'm washing it properly. Please do not forget to like this video Drop your comments in the comment section and subscribe if you have not done so and also turn on your post notification in order for you to get notified whenever we drop a video and also share this with your friends and encourage them to subscribe to the channel too so yeah this is me still washing the meat and after washing it i'll be putting them inside the pot yeah one last man standing yeah i'm done so i'm done washing the meat up next i'll be washing my onions wash them well if you know me you know that i like onions in food yeah so next i'll be washing my okra see how beautiful they look now check this okra out check this okra and my skin color eh everything is popping 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 so this is me i want to dice my onions now i want to dice my onions you have to be very very careful especially if your knife is very sharp to avoid any form of injury while cooking don't come and spill your blood for people to eat no so you have to be very careful see how beautiful this onions is oh, oh so beautiful so up next i'll be grating my okra like i said i'll be grating this okra i prefer grating the okra to cutting it so this is me grating my okra and I'm doing it very well. And you have to be gentle about it too, in order for you to avoid any form of injury whatsoever. Yeah, so I'm done. Look how beautiful this okra is. Ah uh ah. -uh. Mbambo. Up next, I'll be washing my ugu leaves. Pumpkin leaves. Ugu leaves. My dear, I'll be washing my ugu. Ugu leaves. 
yes wash them properly to avoid sand you know they are always sand filled so you have to wash them properly to avoid any form of sand so that somebody will not eat your soup and be eating sand alongside say thank you for the soup and the sand that you prepared for me today no you have to wash it properly properly see how beautiful they look oh Mbambo kuku keke in James's voice. Chineke chineke. Yeah, I'm still washing my ugu and I'm washing it properly. Properly. So now I'm going to wash my stocked fish and my dry fish. You see how soft it is right now. I can scatter it properly. I have to break it into pieces and wash it properly. We're just washing everything that we're using to cook properly in order to avoid sand or stone or something ah, you have to wash it well you it's part of the culinary skills wash well wash it well so i'm scattering it and i'm washing it properly i'm taking my time to wash it i'm not rushing anywhere i am not rushing anywhere i am washing my fish this is me washing my fish and I'm doing it gently. If you like, be rough. You will wound yourself. Sorry. Don't do it roughly. Be very gentle while washing your fish. Please, again, do not forget to like this video. Drop a comment in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you are yet to. You can also write in the comment section what you think about this video okay so i'm done washing my stock fish next i'm washing my dried fish so i scattered it properly so that a scoop you will feel something alongside yeah so i'm washing it properly washing it with cold water from the tap as you can see i'm washing it good don't forget to like this video very very important do not forget to like this video and drop your comments in the comment section so yeah I'm done washing the fish I am done washing my fish I'm trying to take all those tiny particles but you will not gather the last part though because I don't know why but i don't gather the last parts yeah so up next i'll be plucking my ugu ugu leaves from the stem i showed you guys when i was washing these ugu leaves so there was a mix-up somewhere this was actually supposed to come before the one that i showed you when i was washing it so this is me plucking it i have to pluck my ugu from the stem because i'm not going to cut everything like that can you see these beauties see these beauties see these beauties yes i'm still plucking it yeah you have to have patience and pluck it and pluck it well okay so up next i'll be spicing my towel meat and i'll be spicing it with um salt maggi pepper and onions yeah i'm lighting up the burner to get started with the work with the business of today yeah so i've placed my meat on fire and this is it boiling yeah boom, 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 boom. after it has stayed for like 20 to 25 minutes i will add my stocked fish and my dry fish so it boils alongside then i stay for some time then i add the water depending on the level of soup you want to cook then i add my salt my maggi and my fresh pepper mm. there's this flavor that fresh pepper adds to food yeah i'll be adding my fresh pepper look at this beauty look at this look just take a look at this then i'll stir it up stir it up i have to stir it then close the pot for a while so that everything boils together just look at this beauty just just take a look at this beauty look at, look at, look at this beauty look at this beauty so up next i'll be adding my crayfish my grounded crayfish to the to the pot 
I've added my oil here, my red oil. So I'll stir it. Look at this beauty. Then I'll close it for a while for it to boil together. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at the vapor. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Just take a look at it. Ooh la la. So up next, I'll be adding my okra, my grated okra. I'm doing it so that it doesn't scatter the whole kitchen. So after adding my um, okra, what I'll do next is that I'll take my spoon and I'll stir it together with the other mix. Just look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Eh? Look at this beauty. Oh God, see what we are enjoying in Nigeria. For those that eat okra soup, because I don't eat okra soup. See what you guys are enjoying in, in Africa, in Nigeria. Oh my God. Mbambu kuku keke. Chineke chineke. Oh yeah. Stir it up. Tumpaba. For each scoop, you get to see some livestock in there. Yeah, so this is it. I'm about to add my ugu leaves so after adding my ugu leaves to the pot I'll just close the pot I'll close the pot and allow it to steam a bit I'll reduce the heat of the gas cooker I'll reduce the heat of the gas cooker and allow it to steam properly look at this beauty after it has steamed for a while maybe two three minutes then you use your spoon to stir it look at this beauty look at this beauty oh my god oh my jesus holy ghost this is straight from heaven this is straight from heaven this is straight from heaven and voila we are done preparing our okra soup if you know you've learned one or two things from this video please drop your comments in the comments box and i'll do well to react properly to it look at this beauty so tell me in the comment section too what you will love to eat alongside this okra soup do you want a bar do you like it with fufu do you like it with pounded yam i love you guys for staying with me see you same time next week Mwah!